how are you currently using AI as a marketing professional today? Yeah, so we're using it for, for multiple areas. I think some of them we're still um, kind of trying to perfect it and see, um, yeah, perfect the, the way that we, we work with AI. Um, but some ways that, yeah, I think the, the, the way that we have the most use of AI at the moment is for your personalized first lines. So we do a lot of outreach, as I said, and work with email, for example, where it could be pretty hard to get open, um, get people to open and especially read. Um, so I think the first sentence is really important to get them to yeah, read the whole message and kind of get an approval of, for them and see that we have done some research, but doing like manual um, first uh, first lines, personal first lines, it's very time consuming. You can also hire someone, but that's pretty expensive and it still takes time to have a human do it. So we use AI um, to do that, which I actually posted a video on, on YouTube about how the prompt that we use as well as the process that we have there um, to to get like really personalized lines um, and, and not the generic ones that you might get if you just um, put in like, here is a website and here's the person that we're reaching out to. Um, can you write a personalized first line? And then it's really generic and I don't think that will, will help with the outreach. And you can see that uh, through pretty much. So that's probably the main thing we're doing at the moment with AI. And um, as I said, we're also doing it for using it for um, ICP research. Um, so for all of our new clients, we're doing it for, for research. Um, but one thing I think it's it's really um, like intriguing and something I'm I'm really looking into at the moment is actually using it for both when when you hire someone as well as onboarding process for uh, new clients. So we have pretty much automated the whole uh, onboarding process at our agents at the moment. And um, so from the point that they sign contracts, for example, we have a questionnaire that we get sent automatically and invoice and uh, stuff like that. So that's pretty much automated um, at the moment, but I want some kind of customer support. So I talked to someone that works with um, AI chatbots. Um, so you can pretty much put in all kinds of information in there. Um, so my idea is to have that instead of SOPs, um, especially for if we bring someone in house, we hire someone, we can have like a chatbot instead of different maybe 10 different SOPs on how, how we work with different um, things in the agency. Um, we can have it as a chatbot. So I think it's a lot easier um, for them to, to do some research and, and find out how to actually work with that. Um, so yeah, I think that's the most intriguing at the moment, but I'm still um, yeah, in the middle of, of trying to figure that out completely on how to use these AI chatbots. But yeah, I think that's really interesting. Yeah, I watched your, I watched your video on um, writing those first lines uh, to different connections, and one of the things I've seen in the past um, when we've done uh, when we've done LinkedIn campaigns with clients in the past, a lot of times what we would always recommend to them is if you're going to go try to connect with somebody, try to find if you can a shared human experience that you've had with them. Right, so LinkedIn campaigns work really well if you want to go connect with alumni from your school. Like if there's a shared human experience that you both have had, um, it works really well to be able to, to the, your percentage, your, your percentage chance of connecting with that person increases exponentially if you're able to communicate that you've had a shared experience of some kind. And so what I really liked about that, um, about what you're talking about with this, uh, this first line of communication to somebody, you're basically having the AI go out and I highly recommend you go watch Tim's, um, video on this as well. Um, but you're recommending that the AI basically l takes a look at their profile and looks at all the different things that, that it can, it can get a better understanding of who they are to better write that opening line. I thought was, was brilliant. So, um, very, very cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff there. Um, are there specific, are there specific AI platforms that you tend to like over others? So I've tried a lot of different ones. Um, yeah, like I've even tried an AI to to write um, like a different sales assets um, for for um, yeah, for me both to have after calls, but also like in outreach. I didn't really like neither of them. I think like creating sales assets yourself is something that's really um, yeah. It, it provides you a lot of leverage um, because it's something you do once and then you can use it yeah, pretty much um, for, yeah, for a long time at least. Um, so the main things I've been using is, is ChatGPT, as I said, for your personal first lines. And then I'm trying different chatbots um, at, at the moment, AI chatbots. Um, so I, I can't really recommend one um, in there yet, but yeah, those are the main two types of AIs that I'm currently doing.